Hosanna was born in France in the year 1813. He was second of the three surviving children. Thirteen died in infancy. Early in life, he imbibed from his parents the humane touch of concern for the poor and the needy. His father was a medical practitioner whose loving devotion to his patients, most of whom were very poor, was phenomenal. His mother was very active as president of the Ladies' Association of Charity in Lyons. In time, Frederick's humanness was to find due expression when a friend of his introduced him to Sister Rosalie Rendu, the superior general of a convent of the Daughters of Charity, located in the poorest district of Paris. Working with this organization, founded by St. Vincent de Paul, brought him in close contact with the abandoned of society and eventually inspired him to found the first conference of charity in May 1833 with the, with the avowed objective of visiting and helping the poor both materially and spiritually. He was always inclined towards literature, but in respect to his father's wishes, Frederick, Frederick took up the study of law, a subject at which he excelled, leading him into a profession that saw him rise to great height. He was appointed to the chair of commercial law at the University of Lyons and later to the chair for foreign literature at the same university. The grounding he had received in the Catholic faith and the encouragement he had got at the hands of his parents to develop to the full his God-given talents, both spiritual and intellectual, stood him in good stead when he found himself having to defend the church and the faith in any debate. It even enabled him to come out the stronger through a face of doubt and disbelief. Further, with an assured faith in the Eucharistic Lord, he resolved to consecrate the talents which he had received from God to the promotion of better social conditions, the raising of the moral standards and the triumphant restoration of the Catholic faith in his native land. After his marriage, he proved himself an ideal husband and father, as also a spiritual father to his followers in and through the society of St. Vincent de Paul he had founded. A Christian to the heart, thus lover and servant of the poor, by now failing in health, yielded to death on his way to Italy in search of a cure. He died on the feast of the Nativity of Our Blessed Mother in 1853. And his last words were, My God, my God, have mercy on me. The Lord not only listened to his plea, but also had him raised to the honours of the altar at the hands of Pope John Paul II during the World Youth Day celebrations in Paris in the year 1997.